Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in the final station. We are in the only Trader DLC today with our main man here, Peter, and we are continuing on through the second visitation. If you haven't checked out any of my previous videos for the DLC, they should be popping up now, so go back and check those out. In the last episode, we stopped at a road stop and we were able to... Uh, Stock up on some supplies. We got a lot of ammo and a couple first aid kits. Then we made our way to this little farm here, or this little um, like mining outpost with a, a farm attached to it. Did some exploring, and we're ready to hop in our car and head to our, our next location. Um, and now we can go ahead and head off here with Peter. He gets in the car here, and let's see what we can talk with Harry about. Harry Green was the gentleman we rescued on our first mission. He was our, not our roommate, but in our apartment complex. Listen, what happened to your brother? Harry, hitting the hard questions, man. You used to live together, I just remembered. Dot, dot, dot. He left. Before all this shit started. Oh, lucky guy. Have you heard from him? No. Okay. I don't remember River here before. Me neither. Huh. Looks like we got a little localized flooding. Probably something happened to the dam. I hope it will not add to your problems in the city. Uh-oh, looks like we might be doing a little swimming here. I can swim, says Peter. All right, let's see, can we craft anything here? Can't make ourselves a first aid kit, but we got two. Let's look at ammo here. Go ahead and craft ourselves another bullet. Give ourselves a nice 23 rounds of ammunition. Let's go ahead and pull into this next city here. And let's uh, do some water world activities. Might be a little wet, but that's okay. I think Peter, our main man here, can handle it. All right. Let's see, to the right, I see a lot of water down here. Let's see if we can go for an actual sim. So it was a dam after all. Splish splash, splish splash. What new monsters will be awaiting us in the water? All right. Got ourselves a little house apartment here. I see a fire fellow. Let's go ahead and trigger him and get out of his way. Have him go kaboomy. Perfect. Loot the fridge, get some beer, and we'll throw the chair at that last guy. Perfect again. Let's go up here. Are those all plates? Eh, I don't know. Open that door. Another fire guy to be triggered. Let's get out of there. Boom, he smashes those windows while we beat up this little guy. Get some pistol ammo, loot the bathroom. All right, I'm guessing that laptop up there has for something for us to read. It does. All right, both those windows are broken. This is the last straw. I think you're overreacting. He broke my collector's plate. It's just a plate. I think you were just looking for an excuse to kick him out. Ah, so that must be the broken plate right there. Hmm, poor plate. All right, let's continue this way here. Back into the water, splish splash, splish splash, splish splash. Behind this house, can't see anything. Hopefully there's nothing scary lurking behind it. Okay, a little bit more loot. Alex, the administration of Armin White has denied your book for publication, and Omega won't work with us anymore. It's just like I said, we never had a chance, and now I'm suffering for it too. Please let me know as soon as you have an idea for what to do next, Richard. Loot the fridge, get some whiskey and glasses here. And some more pistol ammo. Okay, a hatch down and a door here. Let's go uh, beat up this guy. Is he gonna go red? Yes, he does. And down he goes. Page 14, thanks to reliable sources in the administration, we have managed to learn the names of the real members who formed the council along with Vermin White. Christopher Thornton, Arthur Vane, and Theodore Belfour. They are the men who overthrew Vermin and held him in a private prison where he spent the rest of his days. All right, let's go up here. Anything up here for us to look at? A book there and a window to smash. Page 15. After overthrowing Vermin, the members of the council had a new goal. 
dividing and assuming control of the country. All the programs instituted by Vermin were delayed, including construction of the Guardian, building walls around Metropole, etc. Soon afterwards, Arthur Vane disappeared without a trace. We do not know whether or not the other members of the council were involved in his disappearance. Hmm. All right, let's go check this room out here. Another hatch. We'll loot that. All right. A flooded parking lot. Any cars for us to loot over here? No gasoline, but plenty of scraps. All right, let's go check these hatches down here so we don't have to truck back. Flooded basement. And some guys to beat up. Uh-oh. Cult symbol right there, it looks like. A lot of candles. Let's check over here. Some lockers to loot. All right, and then let's just pop up this way. Get out of the flooded basement and keep heading over to the right here. So again, the purpose of each stop, we need to find ourselves some gas, some food, and some water so we can continue on our journey. And let's take the spitter down. Of course, I had to reload. There we go. All right, loot here again. Get what we can out of these lockers. All right, we got a helmet fellow. And we can't knock his helmet off. Okay, let's get this other guy down and shoot him out. Perfect. There we go. All right. And got ourselves one of these guys. He did not go red. Perfect. But he did catch our foot there. How dare he? And some sort of periscope, telescope thing? I'm not quite sure. The guy who was supposed to take over for me is sick. So you're not coming for the holiday? I can't just leave. Somebody has to track. Oh, we're at a weather station. Tons of crops are depending on me. Well, good for you. You didn't want to abandon your post. We all appreciate that and not just running away. All right, let's go check out over here. Oh, there's our gasoline. Perfect. And we got a fellow to beat up here. Down he goes. Some syringe and pills. All right, let's go pop up here. Let's see. I think some people are going to break out of these doors because I do. All right, no one broke out yet. All right, pistol ammo, clothing, and... That's it, and no one broke out. I really thought someone would have smashed out through those doors, but I guess not. That's okay, I'm not complaining. All right, let's go back this way. Got ourselves a weather vane, a note here it looks like. Closed, I went shopping, we'll be back on Thursday. All right, there's our food. It smells like coffee. A lot of plates and dishes back here. All right, there's a boat there. Some ammo up here in this room. Can we smash that window? Nope. Ooh, six rounds of pistol ammo. We'll take it. All right, let's head on down to this boat. Hop on in and buzz to wherever we need to buzz. All right, off here on the pier. Head back this way. So we're still looking for a bottle of water. And we are in knee-deep water, it looks like. And down this guy goes. All right, let's go up here. Got ourselves a spitter. Down he goes. There's our bottle of water. Smash that window out. Steal the bottle of water. Anything up here just a set of drums and a window to smash. Oh, we can't play the drums. In the other levels, we were able to play the drums, but I guess we'll have to do without. Some more music equipment, a laptop for us to read. You're not going to work today. Nope, I called in sick. I want to record the guitars. Michael's already finished the drums, and now he's just sitting there. When do you think you're going to release the album? I don't know. It's hard to set a date for something like this. Don't want to rush it. True, you don't want to rush greatness. And there he is. Let's talk to our musical friend here, even though we will not be taking you. Hey, friend. What? Please take me with you. I I can pay if you want. Hmm. Do I look like a person who needs money? Well, honestly, yes. That's not very nice. All right, Charles Berger. I am so sorry, but Harry Green's our main man. we we'll leaving you here. Let's go check out this floor here. We got some... Flooded basement again, and down those guys go. Open that door, loot the fridge. Loot, ooh, a little bit of loot here. All right, let's go up here onto this pier and see, can we read any of these? No, okay. I guess we won't read any of those. Keep heading this way. Uh-oh, we got some thugs. Let's knock them out. Hopefully they don't knock me out, but they got in a hit, so we'll go ahead and heal ourselves up while we go into this church here. Another thug here to be beaten up. Down he goes. There's that cult symbol again. Hmm. All right, on we go. Through this little thing here. Damn it. 
I'll get all wet. Yeah, well, deal with it. And we're back to our car. All right, good job, Peter. Let's go ahead and head off to our our next stop here and see what Harry has to say along the way. Maybe we'll find a little more mi li 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 a little bit more about our brother from Harry. Son of a, my shoes are soaked. And my pants. F. Take them off. Maybe I can dry them on a seat? No, better dry the socks. True. Dry feet are better than socks. Ew, no. Do it yourself. Why? They're clean. Then you do it. Ugh. Here we go. Ready? Okay, I guess we're drying our socks off. That's an interesting little, uh, I don't even know what to call that. Anyways, let's head off to our next stop here and see, see what we can do. All right, Peter, what do we got? Looks like we're at a lumber yard of sorts. 200 meters that way is something. Doesn't look like there can be survivors. Hatch in the ground that we can't open. Guessing we'll pop out there eventually at the end, maybe. All right, let's keep going this way down a, whoa, big old tree. What a tree indeed. Oop, and we got some people coming from behind. Let's take them out. There we go, they got a hit or two in on us. So let's go back this way. Now there, is he gonna go red? No, he doesn't. But there's our water. Down he goes, perfect. Some mining helmets and a radio. Ooh, uh, what the hell happened here? Those are bullet wounds. Someone gonna be shooting at us here in a second. Okay, let's get that stuff, open that hatch. All right, let's go back this way. Yeah, I don't know, that's kind of weird. Some bullet wounds, a lot of axes in there. They were chopping at this tree. Oh, here we go, here we got a guy. Uh, don't forget, no lumberjacks get out of this alive. If you miss one, you won't get paid. I'll expect a report in the morning. It's a little macabre, but okay. So let's head back the other way. We got our water at least, that's good. Now we need to find our food and gas. Back up this ladder we go. And we're gonna head to the left here, back through the lumber yard. Okay, car, we found one thing. Let's go the other way and see what we can find on this side of the map. See, broken fencing, another hatch here. Okay, that one we can open. Let's go ahead and pop down this hatch. Uh, we got a friend here. He's gonna camp the ladder, and we're just gonna beat him up with our baseball bat, and down he goes. Some more axes in here. Loot these lockers. And one of the little fast movers, and this guy we can take out. Perfect. All right, here looks like more of a lumber mill. There's our food. Perfect. Clothing and workwear. Vito Sawmill. Okay. All right, we got a helmet guy, one of the little ones, and we'll shoot him in the head there like that. Perfect. All right, Anonymous, this is your last warning. Leave the trees alone. Anonymous, if you don't, you'll be sorry. This is ridiculous, I'm calling the police. So did we have some eco-terrorism or something like that going on here? Maybe that's who came and took out Vito's sawmill. Okay, let's go this way now. Got a guy hiding here near the lumber. Let's talk to him. Hey dude, what are you doing here? Me? What are you doing here behind the planks? I'm looking for my axe. I want to go back to the workshop and finish off those creatures. I've got a better idea. Ah, uh, sorry, Mark. I am not taking you as much as I want to. You're going to have to stay here, my friend. Get that axe. Go finish off those creatures. Bunch of sawdust. Okay, down goes that guy. Um, damn it. Take care of this spitter here. Reload. Down he goes. Okay. Oof. That could have been a lot worse, but I'll take a little bit of damage. Oh, another spitter here. Let's... Oh, come on. There's a fire bear. Oh, dude. And down he goes. All right. Perfect. Okay, we'll go up, and it looks like we'll pop out here. Yep. Got our gas. All right, so we'll go up this way. 
And let's just rush this spitter. Down he goes. All right, the end of the map. Some money. Okay, we're reloaded. We gotta watch our health. We're about half health. But I don't wanna waste any med kits yet. Let's just, okay, we could take care of these guys. Okay, down they go, but they can get us on the ladder. What a bunch of jerks. I didn't think they could reach up that high. And we're all the way back here. So let's, uh, we'll go up here. Let's try this again. Okay, down. Ooh, we took a lot of damage there, man, I suck. Okay, we already read that one. Let's go back down. Let's try this again. Open this. Okay, we're gonna skip talking to you because I already talked to you once. Let's head over this way now. Sawdust, fully reloaded. That spitter got pushed behind the slow guy. All right, let's reload. Down he goes, okay. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and heal now. And we'll keep pressing this way. Let's uh, pick up this barrel, throw it down, boom. All right, so we got these two guys and the helmet guy here. All right, down that one goes, down that one goes. So I need to pop up here, knock off his helmet. Oh, come on, get off the ladder, dude. Don't just stand there, there we go. Oh, we got caught on the corner ladder and took about a third of our damage that we should not have taken. All right, let's go down here. Open this up, open this up. I don't think there's anyone here. We got our gas. Could always bail, but I want to explore the rest of the level. All right, down goes that spitter. Get the $12 out of that person, and let's head back this way. All right, we're gonna loot this locker. Let's just poke our head up here. I'd like to trigger the fire guy. No, all right, now we can trigger him. He's gonna go boom, perfect. Ooh, we can grab this box here in a second. Loot all that, let's poke our head up here. We got a spitter and a little fella. It's been a hard level so far, guys. A little harder than we're normally. They kind of racked and stacked the enemies. All right, so let's go this way now. Let's just see what's over here. This is empty. Uh, Thomas, we're swamped at the warehouse. Where are you? I don't think I'm coming back. Why not? All those threats, I don't think we should just ignore them. We should have never gotten involved with that tree. Jesus, are you a serious? Tree huggers have always latched onto us. What's the matter with you? So it sounds like that tree was important to a group and they messed up that big tree and then they uh, paid the price for it. All right, so let's take out this guy really quick and then we're gonna turn and take these guys out. Okay, got that. We're at a quarter health. So we got the spitter and the little guy up here and we don't have any health packs. So we'll grab this box and hope for the best. And down he goes, whew. All right, we survived. Let's see what's behind this door. There better be a good reward up here. Um, just that big red guy here. Um, pistol ammo and a med kit. All right, we'll reload. Go ahead and heal up here. Smash out that window. Uh, members of the religious group known as the Order of the Advent have taken over a coal mine in the south. As a result, we will have to change our heating plans for the winter. This year, we will be using wood heat, which means that your business is going to have a lot of responsibility. Richard Ducat, Ministry of Natural Resources. Ah, so the Advent took that coal mine over. In order to get more wood, they must have started cutting on that big tree, which uh, the people did not like. All right, Vito's sawmill. All right, so that seems to be the episode. Let's go ahead and get Peter back to the car here. Oh, I guess we weren't supposed to go this way first. We were probably supposed to go the other way. Anyways, let's get Vito, or <laughs> Vito, uh, Peter back to the car here. And uh, that's been, this a little bit of a longer episode, so we'll go ahead and call this here, Vito Sawmill. Thank you so much for coming out and enjoying the final stage with me. Don't forget to like the video, comment on down below. You guys know what to comment about. And subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming if you want to get this great content on time and in an order orderly fashion. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next the only trader DLC.